Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mr. Cavalier here. I'm going to be showing you today how to boot, root sorry, a Samsung Galaxy Tab 4. This is a 7 inch version and I'm going to be using Odin to do it. So, what you need to do is just turn your device off firstly and then have the volume, power down, power down volume, power button, and the home button to put it into download mode. So, you just hold them all together until the screen turns on. And then you just press volume up to continue. Now what you need to do, you need to start Odin, as I already have, and then you just plug in your device. There you go, you can see it's been added. Now you click AP, scroll down to wherever you've had the recovery file. As you can see, I've seen, saved them on the desktop. Link will be in the description for if you want it. Now we need to click Start. Now after it's finished, you need to press the power button, the volume up button, and the home button, so you put it in recovery. So, let's try and do this first time with no problem. Did, did it work? That's the only thing. Press reboot system to click system. Then you need to do install SuperSue. Hello. Once that reboots done. Once it's rebooted, you need to just open it, in, um, install the S. SuperSU binary, as you can see SuperSU is installed here, which is awesome, play, update, accept, once it's downloaded you just open it up, continue to update it, because we got TWRP, we click that button. Did we click it? Yep. There we go. Now it's going to reboot, and we're going to have to download and install BusyBox from Google Play, and then we've successfully rooted our tablet. There we go, it's rebooted now. It's going to update. Here we go. Now it's going to reboot once more. A nice little IKEA lampshade in the background there. Pretty decent. As, also, as you can see on Odin, you can see that there's no errors because it said succeeded one, failed zero. I've totally forgot about the screen aspect of it. I'll post a screenshot or whatever. You'll see it in the film anyway. And there we go. We just swipe to unlock. Uh, go to the Play Store. Just gotta wait to connect to. There we go. Wi-Fi is on. Type in BusyBox. Install. Accept. And while we wait for that, we will type in root checker. Super Sue is there. BusyBox is installed, and so Super Sue is installed, and everything as you can see. Now it's installed BusyBox. Oh, here we go. As you can see, Super User requests you just grant it permission to install. Okay, then don't install. Right, let's just quickly check the root checker. Successfully installed. Agree. Okay. Verify root. Granted permission. And as you can see, it's been properly installed on Android 4.4.2 and on the SMT230. Now let's try again with BusyBox. BusyBox. Congratulations. Come on, here we go. Let's just click install. There we go, it looks like installation of BusyBox was successful. Congratulations. There we have it. That's how you in 
install BusyBox, SuperSU and root to your Samsung device. You can do this with a load of other devices but Odin for Samsung I believe is pretty much the best and easiest if you just want to do it. This is stock Android, there is no custom firmware, it's only a custom recovery as you saw when I was installing it. So this is a Nova launcher just in case you were wondering. So I've lost no file systems settings or anything at all everything is exactly how it was it's just you've got root which is brilliant if you've got a kid and you just want to get rid of ads and free in-app purchases like i do so thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next one